Welcome back to That Adventure Couple. This is our review of the W Resort in the Maldives Islands. We are not sponsored by Marriott and this is not a paid advertisement. Hey everybody, we are about six weeks into our world tour 2023 and this week we decided to have what we're calling our honeymoon. So we spent the last five days in the Maldives staying at the W by Marriott. This has been really awesome because we got one of the overwater bungalows, as you can see, and it has a ladder off to the side so that we can snorkel right off of it or dive off of it if you're Ross. <laughs> and then we also had the infinity pool, which was really great because it was fresh water. So it was easy to get out of the salt water and just hop right into the pool. Some things that we really liked about it, this is a small resort. There's only, I don't know, maybe like 70 or 80 rooms at most. So there's not a whole lot of people here. The island's pretty small, so it's nice intimate feel. One of the things that I really liked about being here is they use the WhatsApp number. And so if there was anything that we had questions on or if we wanted to reserve our table, it was really easy to just send them a message. We didn't have to leave our room. We didn't have to go try to find somebody. And so that just made everything really accessible. There's really only one thing that I don't like about this day, and it's not specific to the W, it's probably just the Maldives in general, and it's that everything is ridiculously expensive. <laughs> so you kind of just have to expect that going in. You're paying a lot for these rooms, so you're gonna expect that everything you wanna do is going to cost a lot. It just seems like everything is priced up so much. I mean, if you wanna spend 30 minutes on a jet ski, it's gonna be like 200 bucks. So like, just know that going in, that it's gonna be expensive. Yeah, and I think that was one really hard part was we've done a lot of all-inclusives inclusives in the past, and this is not considered an all-inclusive. So you have two options. You can do the half board or the full board whenever it comes to food, and then on top of that, you can add in the drinks package. So not everything is fully included. So like we were able to get snorkeling gear and that was 100% included. If you wanted to do any of like the jet skis or any of the other water sport activities, those weren't included and you did have to pay extra and I, they were kind of marked up. They offer all the excursions. So if you want to go scuba diving or uh, parasailing, kite surfing, anything, you name it, they'll offer it. It's just know that it's going to be expensive. They did offer the kayaks and the stand up paddle boards for free. You get those for one hour each day. But if you want the glass kayak, it is an upcharge as well. It's absolutely beautiful out here. One highlight for me is that we did the half board. So we got the breakfast and it's a buffet breakfast and then the dinner and it's a three course dinner. So we got that included with our room and the food here has been absolutely fantastic. Everything we've had has been great. I love the breakfast buffet personally because I just stuffed myself until I couldn't walk out of there. It was just fantastic. And they did include mimosas on the breakfast buffet, so we did have those drinks for free. So cheers, babe. I would say the food definitely was a really big highlight. I do really appreciate that like a lot of them would ask your name or some of them already knew your name and it just felt very comfortable. So the entire time it just felt really safe and it felt like they really genuinely cared about whether or not you were having a good time. Here is a quick walkthrough of the standard overwater bungalow rooms. The bedroom is quite spacious and has very modern furniture. There is a glass window in the floor so you can see the fish swimming around beneath the villa. When we checked in our room had some treats on the table that were free. The chocolates, fruit, and a bottle of wine were gifts to us. There is a mini bar. The sodas and juices are included with the room. Any alcoholic beverages and snacks are extra. If you're doing the overwater bungalow, I highly recommend getting one with a pool. We use the pool on the back deck every single day. It's fresh water, so it's great for rinsing off after getting out of the ocean. His and her sinks with a walk-in shower. And then of course the throne. There were three closets, so we had quite a bit of storage space. Since we were backpacking, we didn't really need much of the storage space, but if you have lots of luggage, there is quite a bit of room. Since this resort is the only thing on the island, it makes it really nice for those that have kids because they can just kind of let their kids walk around on the island and you don't have to worry about uh, your kids getting into too much trouble because there's nothing else here. <laughs> so that's kind of a plus. And the island is pretty small with that in mind as well. Like Ross went running and he was able to go back and forth multiple times 
for his run. I mean, you can walk the entire island pretty quickly. So, which I think is actually a pro because it's really nice that it just feels a lot more intimate and it doesn't at all feel overcrowded for how small it is. Some additional amenities that you'll have at the W is there is a fairly well equipped gym. They also offer some fitness and yoga classes. In the building with the gym, there is also a game room that includes foosball and pool. There's a sand volleyball court outside. And our favorite place to go watch the sunset was right off of the seafood restaurant. There's this lovely area that has some couches. You can order food here, but we would just come out here and sit on this hammock down at the end and watch the sunset every night. It was beautiful. There are beaches all around the island. We picked out the side that we liked the best because it had the softest sand and the least amount of shells that you would step on. And then there's a coral reef that goes all the way around and you can snorkel around about 80% of it. They don't want you to snorkel around where they land the uh, float planes, which makes sense. But then uh, the rest of the island, you can snorkel around that and it, the snorkeling was really fantastic. We saw sharks and turtles and millions of fish. It was, it was beautiful. There's also the stingray. And we did see a great big stingray. Yeah, it was very impressive, very big. And we got really close to the sea turtle. I was amazed. That was like so cool. Overall, we really enjoyed our stay here at the W. We will put a link for this hotel down in the description of the video. So if you want to check it out, you can go find that link. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time.